you've got to manage without him this season. How, how do you think it's going? How do you think you've adapted without him? Oh, we are less strong. With him, we are better. And with Kevin, we are better. And with Kai Walker, we are better. And with Oscar and all the people now, for a long inches, we are better. But what I said, so now he has to recover well for the next season and we have to handle the team and game by game. So, yeah, try to, to win games. Has it given you a bit of a new challenge to, to win without Rodri? Because he's been so important for you, hasn't he? The challenge is win tomorrow against the Spurs, play a good game and the other one. So we will see at the end of the season what, what happened. So, so imagine any sports... In basketball, Golden State Warriors play without Stephen Curry, or, uh, or you know, Barcelona in his prime play without Messi. So, we should have been different. We should be less strong. So it's the same with us. So Rodri is, is irreplaceable. We know it in the players, but we have to move on. You know, do it. And what can I say now that that Kobe is playing there and Gund is playing there? They were exceptional, and one day we play Manu and we play John in that position, and I know they were playing good. So it was what you have to do. Hi, Pat. Obviously, you said Eric Ten Hag will come back stronger from his experience at United. If he phoned you up and asked for some advice to help come, him come back stronger, if he wants to come in here and see how you operate, would you invite him in? Would you speak to him? Ten Hag come here? Yeah. To see us? Yeah. Anytime. No, I'm serious. So, I come many people, and always we are open, but I think. I think he knows exactly what we do. I think it's not going to happen. But of course, I know his agent a little bit, so the relation is there. So there's no problem for me, for us. Do managers often phone you for advice? Sorry? Do managers often phone you for advice? No advice, no. Just take a look. Managers they don't have to advise us. They know exactly everyone what they have to do. Because it's. The reality in every club and every team and every player is completely different to the other ones. So, the advice says the copy paste for the other one, it doesn't work. Pep, I think you're the longest serving manager in English football now. Uh, I think you were in the summer when Jurgen left. Um, does it surprise you that turnover of managers still? Does it, you know, you, I think there have been, we were working it out, United's next manager will be the sixth manager while you've been in Manchester. Does it surprise you that turnover and the fact that jobs are so precarious? Well, I'm surprised how, how long I've been here, not for the other ones a short time. So, so yeah, nine years today is a lot. Yeah, that's true. So, before England, maybe we were more patient with the managers than the other countries, but now the reality is uh, the pressure is in everywhere. The results have to be given, and qualify for the Champions League is. Is a big for for the club for many reasons, sportive uh, aspect, but economically as well. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, yeah, what can I say? So I don't know. So w what I said is that if I'm here nine years, because we won many many times, and it's not 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 put a perspective on that for the way we playing or the other one. No, no, we won. If we won. That's why I'm I'm the longest one right now. Like, we are, not just me, we are so proud of that. And can I just check on injuries? Are any of these players, I think you mentioned the other day, maybe Grealish had a chance before the international break? I don't think so. No? And any date on Kevin yet? I don't think so. No, you, do, you, do you know when Kevin will be back at all? Have you got a date? I would like to tell you, especially I would like to know it, but uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know right now. Uh, he feels better can training, but go to the level that we need the competition when you kick the ball or something you still have pain and he doesn't feel and Kevin has to be has to feel good you know to express his huge talent that he has has that been more compl Kevin's injury been more complicated than you first thought yeah. has it been yeah you thought he'd be back quicker yeah, yeah. that's why I'm not a doctor Sorry, just on that, Pep, are you waiting for Kevin to tell you he's feeling better or is it the doctor to tell you? No, he's feeling better, but not, not the best. Like this for sure, if these guys don't come back as quick as possible, we'll struggle <laughs> because we cannot sustain for just 14, 50 players on the season. So we need the players to come back. And... But uh, yeah, it's what it is. So uh, hopefully that can happen in the, after international break. 
And on that subject, you said on Saturday that you might ask a few youth players to come up for the match tomorrow. Are you a couple of days on? Do you have any more idea whether you might bring a few youth players down to London tomorrow? There is someone, yeah, but uh, we play against the Spurs. Uh, they are coming for defeat. I know what's happened mentally, the manager, the players, you know, playing against Man City, the last, sorry to tell you again, four Premier League in a row winners, and uh, I know they will be the best, and that's why, you, you know, Carabao Cup, we won also four in a row. Always I use the first rounds, like they played the guys who didn't play in the, you know, maybe regularly. And when the rice semi-finals and after I take seriously this comp always I take seriously, but the company okay, we're going to win it. But now we have a problem that I uh, have a lot of injured players and I cannot rotate like I would match. And of course I don't want to put that much, much pressure for the young, young players to be in this stage against this opponent for the way they play. And that's why I have to make a mix, you know, for the players, for split minutes, half forty five minutes, forty five minutes, start to say because we will arrive at um, 2, 3 a.m. Wednesday night and Friday morning. I had to travel to Bournemouth. Bournemouth all week is out for the Carabao Cup and and it's a really, really intense game. How the way they play, how good they are, and that's why I had to try to think about it a little bit, one eye on that. Because and after travel to Lisbon, three days, the recovery will be so difficult this time, and that's why you have to. Take a look how the players come back today in the training session, how are fresh and try to minimize the mistakes in the selection. Simon, Dave and Jens, please. Simon. Um, you mentioned the other week, Pep, about John Stones playing up front. Um, is that something no. you would... <laughs> <laughs> is that something you'd consider kind of off After the After nine years, again? I'm not a funny guy, I know that. But some jokes, you have to get it, you know? <laughs> Uh, you know, and uh, of course can play a few minutes, you know, but yeah. as a striker from the beginning, I don't want to ruin his career. <laughs> um, I suppose with Erling can't play every game, um, who are your best options if he doesn't play? Uh, I don't have much, but some ideas I have. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Um, next week you play Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. Their manager Ruben Amarim is heavily linked with Manchester United. Could be in this city uh, at Manchester United by the time you, you play Sporting. W what do you know of him? And from your experience, you know you had a, a, a time to adjust in your first season. How difficult is it? And what's the biggest lesson to learn coming to England uh, for the first time in your in your debut season? If you cast your mind back, all I can talk is about the experience I played twice against. Ruben uh, sport is boy team one or two seasons ago and the pressure was really really good I spoke with Mateus Nunes that he was uh, his player and I spoke highly about him and uh, look this season is unbeaten or winning all the games in the Portuguese league and the Champions League the same points with us so uh, highly manager so I had the feeling that if Man United what I hear that is thinking about him is because he's a good manager. So Man United, no point managers are not that level. So all the managers I have in the five, six, seven years, we cannot say they are not able to 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 lead Man United. So what's going to happen? I don't know. And you know, he has experience. And what happened my experience here doesn't mean it works for the other one. So everyone is everyone because manager is the team, the club, you know, the structures, the physios, the doctors that. The players, there's many things. And what happened here, that doesn't mean it's going to happen in another place. Would it be too soon for a manager like him? Because he's had a very, very quick rise from you know, being a kind of unknown why, manager, if you like. Why so quick? Why well, is the problem? Years, I think seven years ago, he was doing his badges, and now he's you know, being touted for Manchester United. It's, yeah, it's I, I just started Barcelona with 37 years old, coming for fourth division. So knowledge is knowledge. If you are able, it doesn't matter. For that reason, La Minia Mal could not play football with 70 years old, right? So have to wait to 24. And there are players with 56 or 57, they are not able to be managers. So important is the talent if you are good. It doesn't matter the age.
right? Please, guys. Sorry. Okay. Um, just going back to the first season again. Um, you talk. Uh, you've been here nine years now. It's a long time, and but you've also said plenty of times that if the results are not there, then you will not keep the job. Was there at any point during your first season here in Manchester that you were fearing that maybe now I can actually lose my job here? Never. I never had that feeling. But how did you live with the pressure then when the results in the first season was like uh, was like they were? I handled it good. After one of my first season with 37, the sex tuple with Barcelona, every year the people asked me to travel. When I sit in here, the people, all of you ask me, when are you going to win the Champions League? You are here to win the Champions League. So we spent seven years to do it. So, so I know it. So it's not, I know because I'm dealing with, uh, with Chiki, with Ferran, or with the people there. And I knew that it was, they knew that perfectly that everything sometimes is quicker, needs time. And do it in two seasons is quicker. It's so, so quick to win the Premier League just in the second season. So sometimes you need, but I, I know one of the reasons why is I, I came here is because I know the people above of me, that the people are, you know, judge me if I, you continue, I suck you. We know each other well. I know it was a process and we are analyzing, OK, we did many, because in the first season we did many, many good things. And the play, way we play, we play really, really good. It was on a team like Chelsea for Antonio Conte, it was unstoppable. Play one game a week and it was... Pfft, we're a machine, so they did and they were better, but we learned from that. It's what I said before, sometimes you need, you know, lose and, and make the process to, you know, what is going on. The problem is that when you judge just exclusively for the results, the club judge for that, they are in trouble. But sustain that the results, the idea is not the fundamental and the, the, the process is getting better and better and better and better and better. You, you, you are not judged for that, the clubs are unstable. And I, I never had that feeling. Maybe they thought it, but it never made me feel that they were thinking of that. And the issue was second, third season. In the second, third season, this getting worse and not good, of course. I would not be here. Maybe I would be the first to say, guys, I'm not able to, to get results of the club. It's better to change the situation. So it's not much difficult than that. Ready? Thank you, Let's guys. Let's go.